T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Intelsat Galaxy 31 and 32, go Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. Successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 40 at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. We're carrying the Intelsat Galaxy 31 and 32 payloads to orbit. Now we've just begun throttling down the Merlin 1D engines in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And we've also begun to tilt the engines, that's called gimbling, and that's why we've begun to move horizontally away from the launch pad. That maneuver is called a gravity turn. Max Q. So call out there for Max Q. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Now briefly going back to the gravity turn, we are still heading up. As you can see, the, the speed and altitude are increasing, but we're also heading away from the launch pad. And we do that because a rocket needs to go about 17,500 miles an hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back to planet Earth. So we'll keep speeding up the vehicle to get to orbit. Now coming up in about a minute, we've got three back events back-to-back. -back. That is main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then second engine start number one. Main engine cutoff is where we'll shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. That's in preparation for stage separation, where the, the first stage will push off the second stage, and then second engine start number one, where we'll ignite, ignite the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. So again, Miko, main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then SES-1. And gotta love those beautiful views. This is a view from the first stage camera looking down the body of the first stage towards planet Earth. You can see the Merlin 1D's plume expanding as the density gets less and less. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one FTS is saved. Awesome. So Miko stage step and second engine start complete. Now coming up next in about 20 or so seconds will be fairing separation. Again, both of these fairing halves having flown five times before today's mission. some great views of planet Earth behind the Merlin vacuum engine. Fairing separation confirmed. So there is successful fairing separation. We'll be attempting to recover those fairing halves again once they make their way back to Earth on a recovery vessel named Bob. Of you can actually see one of the fairing halves in frame there as it goes back to planet Earth. We actually got our first glimpse of the payload as well today. Now, as a reminder, we are not attempting landing on our first stage. So the next major milestone will be second engine cutoff number one. That's about four minutes from now. Confirmed separation on first payload. And there is successful separation of the Galaxy 32 satellite. So it's going to make its way on to this geostationary transfer orbit and then continue with some burns to get into its operational orbit later on in the mission. And we are going to jump back to another short coast phase before the second and final deployment of today's mission of the Galaxy 31 payload. That's scheduled to happen in about five minutes. So we'll see you back here at T plus 38. Payload T 
two, separation confirmed. And there is successful separation of the Galaxy 31 satellite off to continue its mission. So all of us here at SpaceX want to give a big thank you to our customer Intelsat for entrusting us with today's mission. We also want to thank the Range and the Federal Aviation Administration for their support. And before we sign off, SpaceX observed Veterans Day this past Friday, and we wanted to take this time to thank all of our veterans for their service.